Now, uh, there's an Ohm's Law formula circle, and this concept is that, well, if you have this E line IR, it's like, okay, well, if you're looking for E, you put your finger over E. Well, then it would be what? I times R. I can't. But Mario, you got your little thing right there, you know? Right. And if I don't have to remember if I just have stickers. You know? I, I, I use, I, I have to look up the formulas. I can't remember every single formula. I mean, there's certain ones I obviously know, but certain ones like, oh, what about that one there? So back over here. So you put your finger over the E, it's I times R. Put your finger over the I because you're looking for intensity, it's E over R. Put your finger over the R because you're looking for resistance. Well, then it's going to be E over I. But you need to know what E is. You need to know what I, you need to know what the question is. Then you right. need to buy. Once you know the question, then you got to find out what do you know. Then you have to go find the formula. And in our book, we're going to have one sheet that has all your formulas. You're just like, oh, I'm looking for whatever it is. So, again, not a big deal. Here's just an example of a question. Hey, what's the voltage uh, to 120, 192 ohm resistor carrying 0.62? So the question here is, what's the question? The question is what? What's the voltage? Which means... E, electromotive force. And then you put your finger over E. You have the current. The current is 0.625 amperes. R, the resistance of the load. We're ignoring the resistance of the wires in this example here. 192 ohms. Well, then E is equal to I times R. E is equal to I times R. I is known, given. R is known, it was given. Then just do the math. I times R, 120 volts. It's not hard, and it's a lot of fun. It's very, for me, I find it to be very fulfilling to, to do calculations and to get an answer. But I think, Brian, you might know. Tom, you said something, maybe it was you, Brian, about word problems. You know, yeah, some people, they turn themselves off. They're like, oh, I'm, my wife says, oh, I, I was never good at word problems. And I'm like, you know, and, and our brains are all different, right? And yeah. I tell people all the time, yeah. you know, uh, we all have different molecules. I only have three molecules. My wife has, I, I think, a couple billion, you know what I mean? So mine yeah. are pretty simple, you know, not complicated, you know what I mean? And some <clears> people have a lot more molecules and, and they think of a lot of things all simultaneously, and they, you know, I mean, and so I'm looking at a question, what's the question? What do I know? And I, I circle what's the question, I underline what I know, but I know the question, I go find a formula, once I get the formula, I write down what I know, and I just, I mean, it's almost like it's answering itself. The key is, I gotta know the question, I gotta know what I know, gotta find a formula, plug it in there, we learn the math, and the answer comes out to be what it is, and in my book, the answers are exactly there, and you're gonna feel it. If it's not there, then you can know what? You made a mistake. You might have missed a step there. So uh, here's an example of using Ohm's Law. Eric? You know, Mike, if you think you can or if you think you can't, yep. you're right. Yeah. And when you were barefoot say. water skiing, the reason you could do all those amazing things that you did is because you thought you could. I, I want to believe that. I really want to believe that I'm not different. I mean, my success has been probably pretty surprising for me coming from such a poor background and not having any support, not having anything, and having self-taught myself at everything I've had. I didn't get a chance to go to school. And I just believe that if a person says, you know what, I don't think I'm good at word problems, but I got a feeling as you work this problem, as you work, hey, hey, I know how things work. I know there's formulas. I know there's a procedure. I need to slow down and relax, find out what the question is, find out what the knowns are, find the formula. I, I think you can. I, I have not met anybody, and Brian, we have taught people that were blind. I mean, yep. there have been people that have, blind people have taken the State of Florida Electrical Contract Exam, which covers 15 different books. It covers the code. I mean, with dyslexia. We've had people's success stories 
And because I've had so many success stories of so many people that they never thought ever under under high school dropouts, you know, they never imagined the possibility. I mean, I'm a high school dropout, you know what I mean? You know, and it's like, I just don't think people give themselves credit. Yeah, that's really really sad because if people people think that they're bad at math, well, that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. And it's and they defeat themselves, and and that's just so unfortunate because, like you said, uh, hey, let's just do it. Well, you know the problem is honestly, I think some parents are not very good, or they didn't have a parent, and somebody maybe was not very good to their children, and they're putting them down, and so this person grows up not feeling in any way competent of any any value at all, and and it's like almost like well, if you can get into my program, if you can just learn some fundamentals. All of a sudden, they're like, you know what? I'm not stupid. You know what? I am good. I'm able to do this. And so those of you that are in a program here, we're whatever unit we're in here, inside here, um, I can guarantee you, don't give up on yourself. Don't believe anybody putting you down. You just work hard. You stay focused. You learn the fundamentals that we're trying to present to you. Complete the program. Go back and do it again you're going to find out that you're going to be amazing, just completely amazing. So we'll get back to work here. So here's another example dealing with, uh, that was E using Ohm's law. What about I? Well, okay, if you know the, uh, if we know the voltage, let's say, hey, we got a 120 volt circuit. We got 192 ohm load. What is the current? Okay, well, I, the intensity is the current, the, uh, which is the voltage divided by the resistance, electromotive force by resistance. Okay, I is equal to E over R. E is 120, it's given. R is 192, that's given. So I is equal to 120 divided by 192 is equal to 0.625. Now, please, (laughs) well, you went too fast. I'm not trying to go at the speed for you to get your calculator out. This is where you put put us on pause. You say, you know what, I'm gonna do that myself because, you know, and look at the book. Step by step, if you can just consider watching the video as like an introduction, like, okay, I'm just seeing what they're doing, you know what I mean? And, you can, and it works directly with a book, you know? So don't, don't feel like you're, you're trying to do it as fast as I'm explaining it. I'm just kind of giving you some information.